That one? Oh, put him in the boat. Yes, bro. Oh, shit. I thought it was like, oh, yeah, put it there, bro. <laughs> That's what we call him. Gracious, that was a walk. Let's go see what we can do. Now, we've been catching the redfish lately, as you guys have seen, but today, our main objective, the incentive for getting up early and treading through the mud is to catch one nice trout. By nice trout, I'm saying probably like 22 plus, preferably bigger, but I'm not gonna be picky about it. I just want to get on a couple fish, really. All right, y'all, here is the setup. We got the Shimano reel, old 18 rod, and we're gonna be tossing the down south lure, same one that we actually caught quite a few redfish on last trip. Let's see if we can get some. Big bite. Just nipped it there. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he's got it. Running at me. Head shaker. Can we get him? We got him. First fish of the morning. Dude, you are chilly. Well, he's bigger than some of the redfish we caught here last trip. We can't be a one-hit wonder like that. We gotta get on some more fish. People are catching good fish here, but I have not seen a lick of that luck yet. Oh my gosh. There's a bite right here. Oh, that's, he's a fat one. See if I can land him. Oh yeah, that's a keeper trout, for sure. Don't spit it, dude, don't spit it. There we go. Check that out. Barely got him lip hooked on the down south. Definitely a keeper trout there, not a giant. It's actually missing quite a few speckles. They're only on the fins there, but good fight nevertheless. All right, let's let this fella go. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the bite. Trout number dose. Going back. That water's chilly, but I found that a faster retrieve has been giving me more luck. Yeah, I wonder how much that water flow has shut down the bite or how it's affected it. So this dam here actually is not running right now, which makes it nice because there's no foam, but there's also not warm water pouring in here. Ooh, big bite. They're just kind of swiping at it. They're not really inhaling it. There he is. Feels like a better one. Decent. These guys are Ooh, yeah, he's a good one. Chill, bro, chill. He's definitely fatter than the last one. Finally escaping the juniors, and you got your speckles. All right, y'all. That is trout number three, keeper number two. We are only upgrading. This is definitely fatter fish. Got more meat on him than the first one, the first decent keeper, and, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get a bigger one. All right, dude. See ya. Oh my 
big, 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 big bite. Look at that, we got a scale. That was one of the bigger hits of the morning. Big, big, big. All right, what can we do here? Come on. We've been struggling this morning. What I've been hearing is that that spillway outflow. Ooh, is that a fish? I don't know, I think that's grass. What I've been hearing is that spillway, no, that is a fish. What the heck? Is that since the spillway is not running, that we that it's slowing down the bite gosh dude the smallest fish of the day i think all right let go dude come on the hook is out he's just biting the lure come on dude let go thank you very very much look at that dude what in the world come on dude figure it out Okay, so quick phone cam check in here. It is 1040, so we have plenty of time to fish, but I'm heading out. We're dipping from this spot. Like I said, saw a couple nice trout caught, but it just wasn't happening for me. So we're gonna do a quick change up on the game plan. I'm going to check the weather when we get back to the truck, and if it's permitting, we might head offshore in the Panga, but honestly, I really don't know. It's really iffy right now, and if it's not good, we might go fish a couple other spots we're just gonna really see what the weather's looking like. It's looking really overcast right now, so I don't know if rain's gonna hit or what, but another thing is the tide. You gotta look at the tide. For inshore fishing, you can get in a sticky situation pretty quick if you're not careful with the tide. So that's what we're doing. We're just heading back right now, and uh, we'll make a decision once we get into the truck. Feel good? No, honestly no. I just want to see what it is. Ah, uh, that's a snapper though. All right, so we just pulled up to this rig. I'm just driving the boat around. Jackson dropped a live bait down there and he got the first snapper there. I'm trying to get around and position ourselves, but this current and wave action is making it kind of hard. But that's a good sign though, dude. So update, forgot my GoPros, but luckily I got Jackson here to fish for me. Wave and wind. Action is too much right now. All right, so Jackson's gonna drop the bait, so I'm gonna drive the boat. It's just too much wave action. Um, honestly, as long as we get fish in the boat, should be good. I don't care who reels them in. Yeah, we're up current right now. We're gonna see. I just marked something decent, so hopefully we get bit. Holy. I'm pumped, dude. That is an awesome mark. That's a solid, solid mark. We ought to pull something up. I haven't seen marks like that since the summertime, dude. Not offshore, at least. Back here, I'm gonna have to back this into it. Jackson's gotta pull in a donkey. Oh, it broke me off. Are you, oh my god. All right, well, we finally hooked a freaking big one. A donkey, but we got broke off immediately. There's a couple cross beams down there that you just can't get away from sometimes. So we gotta retie, hopefully we can get on another big one. Oh, yeah. Reel that as fast as you can. Let's measure him. We got, I think, a keeper. Yeah, I think it'll keep, dude. We've been struggling with break offs and the whole nine yards. That one? 
Doesn't look that big. But it's a fish. Oh, put him in the boat. Yes, bro. Oh, shit. I thought it was like. Oh, oh yeah, put it there, bro. <laughs> That's what we call a mangrove snapper. Honestly, he started reeling that fish in and wasn't fighting hard, so that's best case scenario. Dude, that is a fish. Yeah. I was best like, case scenario. I was, right I was like, dang, not a little red. You know what's crazy though is that we're using 50 pound mono and mangroves are typically pretty smart. He already had a fish in his mouth too, look at that. And uh, yeah, he's probably stealing your bait, but these guys are usually super smart, but I'm thinking since the water's so dirty, this time of year, mangrove will make a trip. Hey, he's spitting stuff up. Dude. I'm pumped. We've been struggling. The waves are getting pretty big. For the ping, at least. I'm so stoked about that mangrove. It just saved the day right there. Made my day. That's for sure. I mean, we get big mangroves in the summer, but this time of year, I don't think I've ever caught a mangrove. I've shot them at the jetties, but I don't know. It's just rough. It's tough out here, and to get a mangrove like that just makes it worth it. I'm taking water all over the back of the boat. Marking. Golly. This is hectic. Oh, marking. This, <laughs> we're riding the bull out here. We got a rodeo going. All right, got to keep us off the rig, keep us off the rig. Surprised he hasn't been bit yet. We're just dropping down drop shots so we can actually feel that bait. Carolina rig, all you feel is the weight and you never know when your bait's gone. Oh yeah, we got something. I just saw Jackson set the hook hard. Hopefully it's a mangrove. Oh, it's off. Off? Oh, you still got bait. Big one? Better than the last one. Bro. Okay, Jackson's got a fish, but this boat almost freaking rammed the rig. Oh my gosh. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, he's, he ain't big. It's just little red snapper, but dude, oh my God. Did they hit it? I don't think they they got right close to the rig and the swell was pushing him right into it. Ha! Wish it was a mangrove, but it's not. We're gonna drop it down once again. Hopefully we can get one. Bro, I thought I thought they were about to split a hole. Oh my god. Okay, so it's been a while, it's been like 20 minutes. We just retied. Just retied, first drop. Jackson hooks a donkey like the rod was like that. That was the biggest fish all day, right? And it just instantly broke us off. We're gonna have to get retied and go go for another round. That just golly dude if we would have had that fish I'd be happy with the, the day something, something. Taking in water good thing the bilge pump works Big, 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 big. I'm scared. You better just freaking yank that donkey, dude. Oh my god. Check your bait, check your bait. Build up? Yeah. We don't got time to waste. Can't be fishing on credit out here. Marking still. Yep. Come on, baby, look at the marks. All I hear is all I hear is beep, 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 beep. Nothing gets me pumped like offshore fishing. Even if it's like little mangroves or red snapper. If I haven't done it in a while, it's a lot of fun. Like if I've been snapper fishing all summer, then it's kinda eh, but in the winter or in the fall. I love it, I love it, I love it. Can never get old for too long, that's for sure. I'm trying to putter you up to it. Yeah, we're marking a bunch. Holy. There he is, reel him. 
Real, real, real. I don't think he's that big, but if he's a mangrove. They got yoinked by something. We just want one more fish and we can roll in. It's like 320 right now. And uh, yeah, I mean, mangrove snapper, red snapper. I'm content. I just, I want one more. Just make the day a little bit more fulfilling. I was like, you got live pin fish? He's like, yeah, they're small. <laughs> Those are minnows, bro. I ought to get swack. Well, we are back and there's only one thing left to do. We gotta clean these fish and we're gonna see which one tastes better. You guys comment right now. What do you think I'm gonna like better, the mangrove or the red snapper? We're gonna find out. Well, ain't it strange how we all think it? Well, some get low, let's get all right, so in all honesty, I unintentionally forgot what fish was which, the mangrove or the red snapper, but I thought this might actually be better. I'll have a more unbiased opinion once we cook it, and I'll make a guess, make a wild guess at what I think is which, but I'm gonna predict right now that I'm not gonna be able to tell the difference. A lot of people say they can, but then on the other hand, a lot of people say they can't. But we're gonna find out. I really don't know which one is which. If I really like looked at it, I might be able to figure it out, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, so the fish is finally cooked and it is the moment of truth. I honestly can't tell at all which one is which. They're both the same size too, so that makes it even more difficult. Tastes like snapper to me. Let's see if this one is any bit of a variation in flavor. I'm gonna guess that this one is the mangrove. It just kind of has that. Honestly, I don't know. I actually take it back. I, I can't tell. I mean, if I had to guess, I'd probably guess that was mango, but it just has a little bit. I just, I know, I've eaten lots of red snapper, lots of mango snapper. It's hard to explain and put it into words, but practically they are the same in flavor, in my opinion. It is very, very minimal if there is a difference. All right, well, if you guys liked the video, please drop a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more content and the like. We are cranking out videos, doing a lot of fishing. And let me know down below if you guys like the inshore more or the offshore fishing. So leave me some feedback there. Like I said, please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss future videos. And I will catch you guys next time. And I got friends high places well, that don't mean Alright And I'll let the gold